I should probably mention the new internet as well. In the title. No, I'm already live. That's <laughs> It's annoying that you have to type the HTTPS for links in Discord. On Twitter, you just type the link. Just like twitch.tv forward slash dollamet, which is all this extra nonsense. Alright. It's just gonna be some runs today. It's so casual. I'm not even wearing a suit. <laughs> this is the part of the least professional you'll ever see me. Showing my party too for some reason. There it is. Why oh, is that a lowercase? It looks weird when it's a lowercase. I'll just type it myself. It's about I don't F, disconnect or drop a single frame on today's stream with the new internet. New and improved 2.0. That's single frame. Right, three, two, one. Okay. So far this internet is, looks promising. I'm always on like very good status connection. My speeds have increased both download and upload, so... I'm... 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 I'm, I'm <laughs> aneurysm again, sorry. I'm thinking... This may finally be the good, consistent internet I need. I thinking very much that is the case, yes indeed. I'll just 
pressing B. God damn it, I deserve that. I, I deserve the replace for pressing B to jump. I always feel like I'm leaning forward with my head in my chair. I'm gonna get that crazy curvature of my spine, I feel like. fast first turn. I'm not expecting a PB at all today. This is going to be like a unironic short stream. But if I was to PB this moment, that'd be amazing. Jesus Christ. I don't know why it always scares me when I accidentally hit my keyboard. Of these big ass mechanical keys. Sound always scares me. Sup, Rem. Hi, right, there it is. Yep, fine. It's been a while since we ha we had a new emote. But there it is, and it's at least like my top five favorite. I was probably on making a third party emote, but I decided why not make it an actual channel emote? You know, make it official. Also, I made it a Discord emote as well. <laughs> just really, just, just you know, spread it around. Hope you're doing all right, Rem. You caught a a rare, casual doll this stream. I'm, I'm not even wearing a suit. This is a super casual, casual Friday <laughs> type of thing. Oh, the hour isn't odd. This is this is the new stream time that I want to stream at. I'm just not prepared to do that right now because of the massive workload I was doing beforehand. So th this is the correct new stream time. I'm just not prepared to stream it right now. Sub Tay Tay, hope you're doing well. Also, there is no such thing as an odd hour for me to stream at. I used to stream at 6 a.m., 3 a.m., in the afternoon time. I used to stream at so many different times throughout my life. This is just yet another odd time to add to the table. Are you streaming in your black, classy professional robe? Yeah, this is my smoking robe. For when I'm not trying to be a professional, just more my casual setting. But of course, since I don't smoke, it's just a robe. Yeah, today's stream is nothing like big or crazy or anything. Because I was working on... I was working on a stream highlight video and organizing all the VODs on the VOD YouTube channel. So I had no time to go to sleep to be prepared for this stream, so... This is going to be a casual, short... Unironically short stream today. And then reset tomorrow for proper normal streams. I should probably get like a fake cigar. I used to have one of those. One of those pipes that, you know, you'll blow bubbles in. I should get one of those. Respect it. As long as I had the respect of the infamous CD rem. I don't know why I said infamous. That's not a good descriptor. Then that's all that matters.
Man, it's, it feels so strange feeling this jacket on my actual body. I usually don't like having things touch my skin. Mario, get the fuck out of here, man. It feels kind of nice. It really accentuates, like, the, the comfort that I'm feeling. Ah, oh, man. I don't think anything, uh... I don't have any, like, crazy anecdotes to share today. Today was pretty normal, off-stream. Besides getting the new internet, finally. That was great. Finally got a new router. Are you implying you were always naked off-stream? No, I'm absolutely not implying that. I definitely wear clothes. Multiple layers of clothes. But, uh... Yeah, I finally got the new router. And it works like a charm so far. It's been perfect. No effing, no disconnects. I think I may finally have the perfect internet for a professional. Let's do that. Long time no see. Pff, uh, I'm losing this game. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is well and fantastic. So, so luckily, stream sh should no longer F or disconnect anymore. I finally have professional internet. All is very well. Fantastic. I oh, yeah, also, when I was on the road going to uh, T-Mobile to, to pick up the new router, the car in front of me had a strange bumper sticker. I forget what it was. It was either like maybe like a cartoon or anime bumper sticker. I forget cuz memory's so crap, but um I should I should have wrote it down beforehand or after the fact. But it was it was a strange bumper sticker. Was the internet provider issue of the router? It seems like the router because I, I still have the same ISP, but this router, it's a new one, works perfectly. My 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 download speeds have increased, my upload speeds have increased. E even the router itself looks like sleeker and like more modern and high tech. That was working. That's all right. Actually, yeah, I'll show you the router when I'm done with this room. I see lots of anime bumper stickers. That was the first time I've ever seen one. Oh no, it was that, that was the second time I've seen one. I just, I just can't recall specifically what it was. I just... It, it was just, it was just a different router that T-Mobile gave us. It was their like newest ones, since they always like churn out, you know, updates and stuff to their software and hardware, so we just got the newest one that was released. It's all placebo? Probably. Was it the degenerate type anime girl stick, or was it slightly normal? It was normal. I just can't remember, like, cartoon or anime, or maybe something else entirely. I just knew that it was a noticeable bumper sticker that caught my attention. I, sh I should have wrote it down in my notes to prepare to tell on stream, I just didn't do it. Uh, pretty much everything else today was pretty normal. Is there anything else? I don't think so, no. Anything crazy or noteworthy happened to any of you in chat? Stop. 
I love Delta streams because it's like visiting your grandpa in the retirement home. I'm glad you saw a bumper sticker, Peepaw. Let's stick. <laughs> Let's take you out to get your meds. That is definitely not what my streams are at all. But. Cool. I'm glad you love the streams. That's only what this stream looks like because it's an extremely casual stream. The only interesting thing that happened to me is just me obsessing over a game. Is, is it some kind of like anime RPG? visual novel um, type game because I'm willing to bet my money it's probably what it is yeah. also I'm wearing like a grandpa like robe unironically so it's almost as if I'm doing like a grandpa cosplay it's an old Dreamcast PS2 game. Oh, interesting. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever played a Dreamcast game before. Definitely some PS2 games. I was sitting down, but it turns out I was just hungry. Nice. I think I may have experienced that like, a, like at least a couple times. A is to jump, goddammit. I have I have Alzheimer's. I, I I really am a grandpa. I forgot the controls to this mini game that I play every day. It's called Roommate Two Zero Three, and like no one knows about it, only one let's play on YouTube. No English translation. The playthrough guide just could just could read Japanese. Thankfully, not interesting. Sorry, obscure. I'm a big fan of games like that too. I hope you enjoy it. Although it feels nice when there's finally English for, uh, translations for those types of games. Cause it's like you're discovering like a, a rare gem. A little gemstone. That you can find like show to the people in your village. It's pretty interesting cause it's like a simulation game but not really. It's a semi-simulation. Is that, is that like a new genre I just invented? Okay, well, as long as you're having fun with the game, that's all that matters. You gotta give some Japanese guy purpose in his life, but you can't directly force him. You have to just like influence him by pointing pointing out stuff to him. Oh my god, a gold split? Jesus. You're like a god of some sorts, but you can only do stuff when he's not home. Like read his diary or move his shit to fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a very interesting game. The most recent you know, like, obscure, you know, Japanese-only game I found recently was, um... Was a point-click, I think, murder mystery game for... I forget, I forget the name of the system. It's a really old, like, home computer system. And I'm, I'm actually trying to get it to run on my PC so I can stream it. But that's, only the, that's the most recent one I found. It's not as cool as... Giving a guy purpose by being a god to fuck with him, but It's a close second That's that sounds fun. Yeah, it does I'm trying to get it to run. I think I can use like retro arc to make it work And then when I do I'll finally play it on stream I'm doing a grandpa cosplay and I'm talking about playing old games like in, made in like in the 80s. <sighs> I really am getting old. The only way I found 
Romania was because of the lead director person was a musical artist that does video game music for stuff like Sega Knights, Sonic CD, even Smash Bros. Neat. I definitely know the Sonic CD stuff. I've heard, um, I keep getting that stuff rec recommended to me on YouTube. That sounds pretty neat. It's an item minigame, or yeah. It's funny because her band, Sarani Poji, is in the game, and the main Japanese guy is a fanboy. <laughs> oh, nice. So that's like that's like some weird like self-insert, like, fourth-wall-breaking type of thing. But nice. Makes the game seem even more strange. It is strange as fuck. I'm hoping to one day make a YouTube video about it. Hey, you probably should document your document your experience with it as a non-Japanese person. Get a you know fresh perspective on it. I'm sure everyone has gone and recommended a video titled "Poop Fart Simulator: The Best Game." We'll never played like there's five million videos with the same title. Yeah, I have seen. I've noticed that trend with the YouTube titling. Another one I've noticed is um. I did blank 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 so you don't have to. I I, I noticed that format so you don't have to format. I guess it works because those videos apparently do well. Uh, Actually, funny enough, I, I, I say that because I got recommended a video that, that was like that on one of my accounts. And when I saw it, I thought about, I was, I was thinking about doing a video where I say, I watched every so you don't have to video, so you don't have to. Like doing just a whole like meta kind of thing with it. I thought about actually doing that, maybe like on the on the main channel. Playing Mario 64 Gone Political. Oh, there's so much you can do with that, just with that title. I did Fortnite emotes a hundred times. I built the biggest shoe ever. The downfall of Silly Billy 288. Yeah, all those similar formats. Oh, yeah, especially, especially the downfall. People always love a good downfall video detailing the uh, apparent Un unpopularness of a person. And apparently doing a thing many times over also is pretty interesting. The downfall of Zelda. <laughs> See, that's the great thing about me, though. I can't fall down because I've yet to rise. I'm still... Right there. I have a hate love relationship with drama videos. Oh yeah, drama videos are are just like good, kind of like background material. For me, like if I truly have nothing else to watch and I need something to like hear as I, you know, like take care of business, drama video or like you know, video essay about whatever. Sounds cool, but will never happen, hopefully. No, that will never happen. I'll make a downfall video. 
Yeah, I know you will, and it will be a very great video. You'll put a lot of effort into it. You'll bring up all the good times and what truly led to the downfall of the greatest professional streamer ever. Make sure, make sure in your video as well, do that. You include like a, a little montage at the end of like all the good times. I watch drama videos on these, on those TikToks part one through sixteen thousand, with gameplay under it, so the creators don't get any views. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that type of a, that type of format. And some random any guy who up re-uploaded it to TikTok. Yeah, I've seen that unfortunately. I'm trying to get those off my uh, like feed as well because it's just terrible. It's terrible content. That reminds me, I got my Instagram almost hacked by a Nigerian guy. Why? And how? It's funny because I made I made him I made him like schizo and paranoid. I mean, that is funny whenever you do that. I got my email hacked and never got it back. Ah, oh, damn, man. I want to say I dealt with the hacking thing recently myself, but I can't remember what platform it was on. I think it may have been... My... I think it may have been my Instagram, or... Even though, even though I don't post on there. Or some other platform I have. I forget which one. I kept sk sending him scary images and threads translated in Russian and he was shitting his pants. <laughs> okay. I made him send a voice message of him saying sorry and he sounded like he was about to cry. And he kept saying, please let me live. <laughs> okay, yeah, you truly win fully schizophrenic, damn. And not only that, you actually, it was actually effective, you made him, you made a, I'm look, uh, I was looking at y Yoshi as I fell into lava. And not only that, you made a grown man cry. <laughs> That's kind of impressive. That's up to you, dude, for doing that. That's so weird. You tried to do my strategy and said, I will do something to make you die in three days. So I said, I'm immortal. You cannot kill a god. And he said, no, wait, I'm sorry. Okay, he, cl he clearly had no idea what was going on. He was just... He was clearly just doing his best. And then he never encountered, like, you know, opposition. So when it finally happened, he just caved. Like a wuss. Yeah. But good job on getting your Instagram back. I eventually left him on red. And my last message was a random date, so he thinks he's cursed and will fear the upcoming days. <laughs> it was like January 2024. Man, <laughs> okay. That is that is damn funny. Nice. I wonder. I wonder, like, if you like. I can imagine what a man like that will do. Like, he will just hide in his house forever, forever regretting the time he hacked that one Instagram account. If one, I can send you the screen recording of him saying sorry later. Yeah, sure, why not? I can, I can use a laugh. That also, that, that reminds me of that, um... That one time you sent me the... The DMs of that one guy who tried to... I think, I think he was trying to, like, solicit feet pictures off of you from Discord. And then you told him to like, like buy a shotgun and then like 
put in his mouth or something. He basically told him to like to go off himself. And then he wouldn't like he wouldn't stop pestering you about feet pictures. And he just went on and on about telling him to fuck off. That was also pretty funny. Yeah, that that one guy. The only reason I know that he's Nigerian was because when he when he almost got my account, Insta said sent me a notification saying login detected from Nigeria. Oh yeah, that luckily that is one thing that these websites do whenever they detect new places for for logins to your account, they mention the location. Microsoft does that, Twitch does that. You can tell I have a very similar way of dealing with things. Yeah, you clearly have a method, and it's effective, so... Good on you. You should sell, like, books, or, like, pamphlets to, um... To the people, so they know how to deal with, like, weirdos and hackers online. You, you make, like, a fortune. How to deal with creeps. Tell them to kill themselves or threaten them in other languages and say scary demonic images. Yeah, basically, that's that's how you do it. Oh nice, finally. Oh got the okay, I just got the thing do that. Yeah, I just got the notification. Thank you. I just got a Twitch out in the middle of the stream. Oh yeah, you yeah you you haven't been here in a while. I did enable. Well, you can't hear me right now because you're watching the ad. I'll say this after you come back. Yeah. Some things have changed. Okay, you're back. Yep, you haven't been here in a while to that, so... One thing that did happen is that I did enable... Ads. I was notified by Twitch that... I was apparently eligible for... Their new 55% split on ad revenue. And what I had to do... That wasn't like the premise of like why I did it, but... Um, what, what Twitch allowed is that if you allowed a certain amount of ads to be played every hour or every set time on stream, you're, you're able to disable pre-roll ads. You know, the ads that play when you first join a stream. So I thought, okay, let me just do that. So that's why there's ads now playing. Because those pre-roll ads are beyond annoying. Can't stand them. And so when people finally come in, I got a pre-roll ad, pre ad though. Okay, well then, fuck. <laughs> They're not supposed to be playing. That's why whenever people come in, I just tell them to get an ad blocker as well. Assuming they don't get a pre-roll ad. But I'm not sure why you got one. I'll have to look into that. Oh, yeah, on Twitch Mobile, yeah, that's probably why. I keep telling people Twitch Mobile is terrible, you shouldn't be using it. So that's probably not on me for the pre roll ad. I'll get my own computer eventually. Yeah, please do do that. Please join the 21st century. I have no other options, Mr. Dalda. Oop. Nah, that's alright, it makes sense. You're just doing your best with what you got. Yeah, but if you can, please acquire a PC. 
they are much better. You know what PC you're gonna get, like, specs and all that if you're one of those types of people. If you know, like, oh, I'm gonna get this motherboard that has the overclocking feature with the extra RAM sticks and stuff, like, do you know, like, all that, all that jazz? I wanna get a laptop, not a PC. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's plenty of great um, laptop stuff out there. Possibly a MacBook? Why a MacBook? That sounds gross. Is it because like it's just it's like small and slim, or because you can you can definitely get a better PC than a MacBook. It's what I'm used to. Oh man, I am so sorry to hear that. If, it, if it's what it used to, then, you know, sure, go ahead and get it. I'd just rather you get, like, you know, an actual good laptop. I have to use it every day already because my school film class has them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, all right, just got to do what you got to do. Hopefully you acquire said laptop soon. Because what's better is that when you get your laptop, you can get ad blockers installed. He makes us use Adobe, but I still have no clue how to use it after a year of his class. Because I had it last year, too. Yeah, Adobe is a crap program. <laughs> Overpriced, too complicated nonsense. Yeah, if, if you're able to still edit your stuff on mobile apps at home, then right there you should know that Adobe is garbage. My film teacher is a bitch. <laughs> All right, nice. Yeah, I would not. I would not use Adobe. Use there's so many other like video and photo editors out there that are actually cheaper and are free and much better. He's making us film a music video when our class has four people in it and making us work in groups of two. Yeah, okay, that's... That's really dumb. How does he expect this out of high schoolers? I mean, I did that when I was in high school. I made like... I made like mock TV commercials and... Not a music video, but like a song type of thing. But that's only because I'm a very creative, expressive person. So it fits me, but... Yeah, your average high schooler, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna work. He forces us to use Adobe. I have to lie about using my phone. Yeah, your teacher does sound like a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Mock TV commercials and stuff is fine. Like we had doing a short film about... Short film, but why a music video? Yeah, that's a bit too much. Because you have both music and the video to... To manage. But hopefully you make something that's a passable grade. That short film was also annoying though, just because I was the only actor, everyone else was pussies. Yeah, it sucks being the, uh, the, the champ, the alpha male of your class, dude. It's a struggle. I know that feeling too well. Hopefully you pass that assignment, because it sounds like a major pain.
I already didn't do one of them because it was also hard. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. One of the most forgotten options when it comes to a class assignment. Just don't do it. Fuck it. We had to interview people and it was hard for me. The... Like, like the actual interviewing? Was it like... Like you just, like you were scared to like interview people? The other thing was I tried but he was just such a bitch. You seem to be surrounded by a lot of bitches apparently. Being in such a... Being in such a bitch heavy environment isn't conducive to a good good education. I asked if I could just have my friends record themselves and he said I could with only one person. Yeah, your teacher sucks. Give you difficult assignments and constantly giving you like harder and harder restrictions. Damn, this was about to PB, man. This run was like solid. And then this happened. I knew it was too good to be true, this run. It was too good. I took time I took time out of my poor teacher's art 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 teacher's job to ask him if AI is gonna take his job. <laughs> I don't see why, I mean, I can kind of see why AI would take his job. Did he respond? I don't really hope this PB's, it's, it's too close to the end and like, it's just right there. This won't be a giant PB, but it'll be decent. Never mind. PB just died. Oh, okay, what's up? By the time I finished my interviews, he waddled up to me. My film to me. My film teacher is a fat hippo and said the documentary was due yesterday when I thought it was just interviews. Shit. Well, you know, at least you win in that regard. You know. So I just didn't finish it. <laughs> okay, fuck it. I mean, it's just a film class. It's not like you're going to become a director or anything. He talks in a really sassy tone and always blames my phone. Yeah, your teacher, your teacher sounds like an ass. But luckily, you do have him beat in that regard. Nope. You're, you're young and presumably healthy. I mean, your teacher is a fat hippo, so... You got that on him. He thinks we're all directors. Yeah, he clearly... He must be blind as well. Ah, oh, dude, this run, this run was, it was so close. It was so close to making it. The runs always die towards the end, why? Uh, so I'm too busy to like, I'm crying over this dead run to talk right now. During the short film we did a shot but it got cut a little early. And we're all fine because the shot was supposed to be cut early but he threw a tantrum. Saying we could do that in editing, in editing reshoot it. When we only did it five times, it was when, when we yelling so my voice was getting strained. 
Yeah, your teacher sounds just horrible. Is it too late to really like already drop the class or just do something else? Ah, oh, god damn this run, man. No, it's fine. He was like, no, we aren't doing it. Fine, it just needs to be a perfect... <laughs> this one's already dead. <laughs> it needs to be the perfect movie. Directors don't just do it when it's fine. Then when I said, but everyone disagrees. He said, I don't like... I don't like you guys gaslighting me, saying I don't know my job. Either reshoot it or you all get zeros. Christ, your teacher sounds unbearable. Good thing he's a fat hippo. The next day he apologized, but he said we still gaslit him and forgot to make his reshoot. Yeah, you skipped out of reshooting. Good on you.